Hi, I'm Shannon Rollins from Shannon Rollins Real Estate with a quick market update. Recently, I read an article in the Wall Street Journal that I wanted to share with you. The summary of it is that at the end of 2022, beginning of 2023, experts predicted that home prices were going to decrease. They were going to drop pretty significantly. And that was because of the projected increase in interest rates. Well, interest rates have gone up. We're no longer in that two and a half, three percent. We're more in the six and seven percent. But what has happened is that those sellers or those homeowners that didn't really have to sell, they just kind of maybe wanted to sell, chose not to sell. They decided to stay put because of the interest rate but there's still a lot of people that need to sell. So with the increased interest rates and people deciding not to list their house, that reduced the inventory that we had on the market. Therefore, the prices did not decrease because there still was enough demand for the volume that we have. So prices have remained pretty steady. So if you're a seller and you have your house for sale and it's not under contract and you're going, well, if that's the case, why is my house not sold? It usually comes down to these three reasons, price, condition and exposure. Let me say it again, price, condition and exposure. Price, you need to really evaluate price. What has sold in the last six months in your area? And also, what is actively on the market? You need to evaluate that so that you can position your house properly in the market. The second one, condition. What does your curb appeal look like? How are your flower beds looking? Are they clean? Do you have the weeds out? How about your front door and the front door handle? How does the front porch look? When you walk inside, is it light, and bright, and cheery? Does it smell wonderful? Is the carpet clean? You need to reevaluate those kind of things again, just like we used to do when we used to put houses on the market. The last thing, exposure. I have a lot of sellers calling me that they've had their house listed with somebody else and say, Shannon, I need you to come out. Give me lots of great exposure like you do all your clients. You have to have amazing photos, professional looking photos. I can't stand it when I look at a house online and see a photo of the front where it's dreary out, there's no sunshine on the house, or the inside they show a bedroom and all you can see is a bed, no floor, you don't have any idea of the size of the room. The home needs to be put on several different platforms, social media, maybe open houses, print media. There's a lot of different avenues to get exposure, to draw attention to the home so you can get the best price possible. So if you or anyone you know is thinking about buying or selling, give us a call. My team and I are on standby seven days a week, ready to help you take the smoother road to sold.